The Astros ran away and finally won a game against the Oakland Athletics. Uh, they did not win the series, but they got the game. They didn't lose ground in the process to the Mariners. So I guess all is well in the world for at least 24 hours hmm. in the world of Astros. Or you is step it? off the ledge, Joel. Or is it? Is it? Because my man BMAC Uh-oh. has an issue. And he has an issue. And I think it's I think he's rightful he, rightfully so he has an issue. I don't know how big of an issue it is, but I'm interested in your thoughts as well because we know that Kyle Tucker was supposed to be back within a couple of days after fouling the second straight ball off of his shin. It's now looking like it's going to be almost two months or at least two months before he dons an Astros jersey again and plays for this squad. Right, BMAC? Yeah, I mean, the, there was a from that same media appearance that Dana Brown had on the flagship today, he uh, said the quote was about Kyle Tucker and when he could return. I'd be really disappointed if it was September, but we're optimistic that it'll be before September. I mean, okay, I'm, you're optimistic it'll be before September, but it doesn't sound like you're very sure that it'll be before September from an injury. And we can go over as much of the timeline as you want to, but when you look through the timeline, if you pull up like the Roto Wire, where it has the aggregates of all the different reports that have come out of what the team has said about his injury and his timeline. Something's not, something's fishy. Something's not adding up. You know, you could choose to be whatever level of outrage you want to about it, but clearly they've lied or at least misled us pretty much every step of the way about how serious the injury was and when he would be back. Because you can't go from what they said at the beginning, which was not even on the IL. Oh, he's going to be back. Uh, I think it was like the Friday. Yeah, it was going to be like mid, mid-June. It was like around Friday, like June 12th or 13th or something like that. And from that point to, well, maybe by September. There, there, is... There's something missing in between that. See, and this is to the bigger picture, too, because of the fact that it's one thing that they, you know, and I, I've always been talking about the fact that teams don't have to tell you anything. But at a certain point, mm-hmm. it, 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 as we watch this team and we all analyze it, as you said, with microphones in our face on a day-to-day basis and fans just watch the game, you would think that, well, if you knew Tucker was going to be out two months, then maybe you should have looked to do something short-term a little sooner to try to do what you needed to do to kind of bridge the gap. But instead, we kept being force-fed like we were done with Justin Verlander and because they wanted to prove Chandler Rome wrong when, of course, inevitably, Chandler Rome was right and Verlander needed Tommy John surgery. Like, you know, they do this all the time. We joke about the fact that every radio program now in this city knows and every media member knows the word discomfort and knows the minute you hear it, there's only one franchise you associate with. It's because the Astros are never going to tell you the truth, but at the same time, you're lying to yourself, but you're also hurting your baseball team if, to BMAC's point, you you kind of teased people, hey, we're going on this road trip in Anaheim. He might be back by Friday when we open up in Anaheim. If not, he'll be back by the end of the road trip. And here we are almost looking at two months? The only question I have is... How much blame do you put on the player? Oh, I don't think this is on Kyle Tucker. Okay, I, it's just a it's just a question. I'm not saying he. What would be the reason for the blame? I don't know. Maybe he's giving them some info or saying no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, and so that's what they're relaying. Or no, no, it's not as bad. It doesn't feel bad. I should be okay by X days. Or yeah, yeah, I'll be okay. You know, it could be one of those where he's trying to get back into the lineup faster. And so he's not saying it, and then he's unable to do so. So they're just relaying what they're being told. And See, he's not taking thing. it serious. I don't know. That's the only, I'm just trying to, you know, play if devil's blame, advocate a little bit. Because maybe they're, you know, in the case of some pitchers where they'd be like, oh yeah, my elbow's just sore. Well, I was going to say, in the case of a McCullers who kept saying, hey, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be back. McCullers was echoing everything and more to say, you know what, we're taking some time off. I'm going to be back. He spoke to the media a lot. He spoke too much. He overspoke his bounds. But then what really frustrated me was a year and a half later, we finally (laughs) had the surgery that should have been done before the World Series. Amen. That's different than a guy like Kyle Tucker. I can't blame him because he doesn't talk to the media like McCullers. Right. And he's not trying to avoid a surgery that inevitably is going to happen. We don't think. I saw people losing their mind. We talked about it. You know, are you mad? And because and, Astros Twitter was outraged that they don't want to admit that his shin was fractured. Regardless of whether they have to admit if his shin is fractured or not, that's a different conversation than stating what Brian is mad about, which is acknowledge the fact, like 
when you say, guy, like, you, uh, Christian Yelich just got hurt for the Brewers, and, and he hurt his back. And when they asked him, he said, it ain't good. It's probably going to be a while. Mm-hmm. And then the Brewers came out and said he's probably going to miss significant time. That's different than saying, hey, in two nights, he's going to be playing in right field and starting against Anaheim, against the Angels in Anaheim. We're, you should, we shouldn't be talking about this two months later. No, I, I agree with that. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. And that's that's on them for sure if that's the case. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, But I'm just... You're only as good as the information you're given initially from the player. And, of course, once you start getting info from doctors and everybody else, that's a whole different story. It, 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 you, you, what you, The point you raise is credible, but the problem is it kind of falls apart when you look at the track record of the team. Like, we've dealt with this with sure. Javier where he slept on a pillow wrong and his neck hurts, and all of a sudden it turns into Tommy John with his elbow. Uh, we dealt with this a few years ago when Jordan hurt a hand, but Dusty didn't know what hand he hurt. And they, they kept telling us different hands that it was before Jordan eventually got in front of the microphone and, and cleared up himself. I mean, you mentioned, Joel, the thing with uh, Chandler Rome and Justin Verlander. We've just done this so many times with the Astros. Oh, Brandon. That it, Brantley too, yeah. It, it, they don't have any credibility or stock built up for us to give them the benefit of the doubt. When when you look at the timeline and all the different times where they tell us, well, he's going to be back for Anaheim. Oh, well, he's uh, he's running on a he's running on a treadmill, and then two days two days later they tell us he's about to be cleared for running. Well, he just ran on a treadmill two days ago. What are you talking about? He's about to be cleared for running. <laughs> it, we it's just it's just the nonsense that we see with these updates and the whole discomfort thing and telling us it's a neck injury that turns into Tommy John. A uh, guy doesn't need Tommy John, then he needs Tommy John. Jordan doesn't know what hands hurt. It's just, it's frustrating. Well, because you, 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 you say all that, and then you look at the fact that in every situation, the way they've handled it, it has been so bizarrely secretive when I don't think it's it's not like when you're game planning in football or basketball when you want to know if a guy's playing or not. And that's what it reminds me. It reminds me of Bill O'Brien. That's right. what it reminds because me because I, I I dealt with it enough too in my days where they would say, hey, so and so just between you and I, so and so is not going to play tonight, but we're not going to release it until we absolutely have to because we don't want the other team to know that they can they can game plan for someone that's that's not going to end up playing, right? We want them to game plan for so-and-so and he's not going to play. That's one thing. But when you're talking about baseball, you're talking about guys not being in the lineup, I don't think it's going to factor in to why, and it shouldn't be a reason why, you're not going to say a damn thing about a guy that, you know, because to your point, the other thing that's bizarre to me is they say the only thing that he feels really comfortable doing right now is hitting. Well, how did he hurt it in the first place? Hitting, because he kept fouling balls off his damn shin. And now suddenly... The only thing he does well is hitting, so he could hit, but he can't run and he can't field. And, yeah. and if you hit, you might have to run. Right. <laughs> just, That's kind of what follows the Not hitting. if you hit long balls. That's true. That's just true. Just hit homers, baby. If he doesn't clear the fence, he just walks back to the dugout. That's it. If you, it's, it's home runs or outs. That's it. Just go up there with a shin guard and a plan. Yeah, no. Just. So uh, to me, it's just another situation of frustration to where. It's not like a pitcher that says, look, I don't want to do surgery again, and I'm going to do everything in my power to try rehab first before I do it, and and at least say that, right? Instead of complete secrecy, all you hear is discomfort, and then you're frustrated even more by the fact that months and months, if not years later, suddenly you're dealing with something that should have been dealt with right away. Yeah. 